So did it suppress? Yep. It's kind of hard. I think Jake's just oh, laser focused. Oh, Sam's about to hit it. Oh! There it is. <laughs> oh! That looks good. It's going to Oh, hit. snap. It's going to drop back down. <laughs> well, dude, congratulations, man. Thank you. Right. I remember no, this. No, yeah, no. Remove no, it. don't go back. <laughs> All right, let's take this off. It's, oh, it's 10. Man. You're good. You're good. Hello Blazers, no fuck is there, hi guys, I'm say welcome to a brand new video, today's video guys, we're going to talk about a trending topic once again, today guys, we're here to talk about fucking Jake Paul, I I'm sorry, but recently he has been, uh, not doing the best act. You see, the thing is, is that um, I actually started thinking better of Jake Paul until recently. You know, recently he was acting sort of a little bit nicer. He started being a fucking dick to his neighbors. And as well, he even appeared on the A Street Street podcast where he talked with Ethan and Hila about, you know, the problems that he's going through and about his channel and, you know, all this stuff. It even gave us some new great insightful info about It's Everyday Bro, by the way. For example, that Jake Paul actually wrote lyrics for Nick Crompton, which means that he wrote England is my city. That legendary line. Right. Anyway, all right, but I don't even know how to rap. I was like, I got you. I'm gonna write this. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And to be fair, dude, I fucking love that. Like, dude, I, England is a city <coughs> in like Arkansas or something. Yeah, but that's not what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what you meant. Yeah, Jake Paul. England is a city in Arkansas. 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 Bro, I'm getting the legit impression that this guy's dumb as fuck. <laughs> Arkansas. Uh, great, Jake Paul. I'm not even American, okay? English is not even my first language. And even now I know that Arkansas is pronounced like Arkansas, you fucking dumbass. But anyways, Jake Paul actually come into the h 2 3 podcast and actually willing to discuss things with Ethan and Hila. People who made videos critiquing him before actually showed a bit of a different side to Jake Paul. For some time now, my opinion about Jake Paul has been getting better. I've started to like him more now. Of course, I wouldn't fucking watch his videos as well because I'm not a seven-year-old white boy. <laughs> but I mean, I just stopped hating him, you know, but recently he's done something and he's got into some spicy drama which uh, really kind of fucked all of that up and now I think he's a fucking retard once again. Here's a video that Jack Paul uploaded recently on his channel that caused a little bit of a downfall on his channel and is causing a shit ton of YouTube drama right now. Basically in this video, Jake Paul is doing some allegations and accusing FaZe Banks of assaulting his assistant. As you guys can see by the like to dislike ratio, the video did not go down very successfully. Uh, nobody is really uh, trusting uh, Jake Paul on this except the Jake Paulers who are always lit, always powerful. And as well after this video, a shit ton of people unsubscribe from Jake Paul. You guys remember the Fine Bros drama, the entire fucking YouTube community back then was just destroying them, okay? And they lost quite a few hundred thousand subscribers, but they're back up now and they're gaining subscribers like they used to and it's so good, so I'm not gonna say that this is the downfall of Jake Paul, as as well people want to think, it's not. He's already, if you look at his social blade, he's actually already gaining subscribers back, so I'm sorry guys, we don't need to make a big deal of this guys, don't start the celebration yet because Jake Paul's channel is far from over. Meg was assaulted uh, by a man last night who is in the same like community and space as us. Huh? <laughs> yes! Good morning Jake Paulers! What's Gucci baby? Hell yeah, classic fucking Jake Paul, a very very emotional intro followed by, what's up Jake Paulus, we're late, we're powerful. This video is uh, a bit different than any other Jake Paul vlog, really. It's about a serious topic. He's making some allegations about uh, his basically assistant and a friend being assaulted. And this is how he starts out the video. Hey guys, uh, so my assistant has been assaulted. Uh, what's up guys, Jake, Jake Paulus, it's late fam, it's late right baby. now. You know, it's almost as fucking bad as the Quebo Cup, my dad passed away intro. <laughs> I have something to talk about. Unfortunately, I just got the call that my dad has now passed away. Fuck yeah! Good morning, cops. Yeah, you guys remember that? You remember, remember that fucking disaster of a video? Well, Jake Paul is basically doing the exact same thing here. Great, great job, fam. And it's not <laughs> like if you guys see, like she literally has a bruise. I don't know if you can see on camera, like here. Not to be like dramatic, but like she literally has a bruise on the side of the whole, whole entire neck. He like put his arm out and like went like this. 
and I was looking up at him and our faces were really close and he sort of like was uh, right uh, here. There are some shady facts in this, for example, uh, the assistant of Jake Paul that was uh, apparently assaulted, she is supposed to have bruises on her neck, apparently from uh, face banks because face banks is a uh, person who abuses women. Now, <laughs> I wouldn't actually be surprised if, it be if it's true because as I've been saying, uh, face banks is practically fucking mental. What the fuck? How about yo, 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 no, no, no. But this time it seems like the truth is on face banks' side because uh, there are some shady details in this. For example, the assistant, uh, once she got uh, caught on the streets by a paparazzi and she was being filmed and she was covering her neck with the hood of her hoodie. Why would she do that? Maybe because the bruises that uh, they showed off uh, that apparently uh, face banks uh, choked her and holded her like this. Apparently those bruises, maybe they're just not real and uh, she forgot to put on her makeup uh, to get those bruises on her neck and oh my god, here's a paparazzi filming me. Better hide that shit, bruh. Better hide that shit. What I'm saying is that you need to be a hard-ass motherfucker, okay? In order to actually make somebody get a bruise on their neck from a chokehold, okay? And there have been people uh, actually doing this experiment on YouTube now. For example, Overflow, a guy I know, he made a video about chokeholds, uh, basically trying out this theory to this, you know, face banks and uh, Jake Paul drama. He was basically doing chokeholds on uh, some of his friends and close ones and family, you know, those who volunteered for the experiments. And he actually choked them pretty hard on this. Uh, I don't know how they agreed to this, to be fair, but I, I mean, I understand this is all good fun and shit like that. And this is a pretty good experiment. And uh, because of this experiment, it showed Showed that the chokeholds actually don't leave any bruises on anybody's neck. And you can compare Overflow and Banks, and Overflow, he's not like the skinniest guy, okay? If that, that nigga could hold you down, you feel me? <laughs> and Banks isn't like a super muscular dude either, or but he's not skinny, so uh, it's kind of the similar thing here. So, you know, this is amazing. People are actually doing experiments now to prove uh, YouTube drama or disprove YouTube drama accusations. You know, so far from all the things that were said and uh, from just the way Jake Paul acts, he's very, very sketchy. It, it makes me believe that Jake Paul is the one that's lying here and I just don't really understand why Jake Paul would do this and why Jake Paul would fake this entire thing and come up with a story and do this whole, um, you know, trying to take down banks basically, which really backfired on him and he's losing subscribers. I mean, he's not losing subscribers anymore, but he lost a pretty, you know, a huge amount. I just don't really understand why Jake Paul would do this because Jake Paul has been saying that he will be tried to be nicer on YouTube. You know, his entire YouTube stars diss track that he released, he was basically saying, oh guys, I make mistakes, but I'm better now. I'm going to be trying to get better. Yeah, I know that I'm cocky. You know that I'm trying to not be. Like I said, I'm sorry, but I got to ask, man. And on the H3 Street podcast, he spent the entire podcast basically apologizing and saying that he's gonna stop being a dick to his neighbors, he's gonna move, he's gonna just be a lot more peaceful and, you know, uh, cause less drama and this hype around himself. But then at the same time, he does this uh, terrible accusations against Banks. And, you know, as I've been saying, guys, for a while now in, uh, in the videos that I've been making on this entire YouTube vlogging crowd, you know, Banks and Ricegum and Jake Paul and Logan Paul, Alyssa Violet, Tessa Brooks, uh, <laughs> Nick Crompton in England is my city whatever sniper wolf and people like that i've been saying that these people they seem fake as shit to me because you know the distract drama between logan paul and jake paul that they convinced their fans that they're actually beefing which was not true now the ksi and sideman distract drama which is also fake and not true then there was the rise gun versus jake paul drama which i don't know I, it kind of feels like both of them really really got a lot of benefits from this whole thing so uh i don't know if it's true so you know if there was actually some proof to this and there was not as much shade details in this entire thing, I would actually say something like, yeah, uh, Face Banks and Jake Paul actually have agreed upon this entire thing in the back of their heads. Uh, like, yeah, let's do some fake drama and get some sick subscribers, bro. But no, this time I'm convinced that it's actually real because, I mean, at this point, Face Banks is threatening to sue Jake Paul for defamation, okay? Because at this point, it has gotten to where it needs, this needs to be pursued legally. Defamation of character and slander to the highest degree, and I just can't believe, as a human being, you could do this to somebody and paint somebody to be this horrible evil human being when that's not the case at all. You know, it's like nowadays on YouTube, all drama is just completely fucking fake, okay? It's like, you know, you know how, you know, they have titles that say, uh, something, uh, parentheses, not clickbait. It's like you have to put that in the title that it's not clickbait at this point. This is how ridiculous YouTube has gotten. The same thing is with drama now as well. All drama on YouTube is fake. 
unless uh, somebody puts not clickbait in the title or somebody threatens to sue another person. Now, when the lawsuits come in, then you know that it's not clickbait and it's actual drama. Also, Jake Paul said shit like this in this video. If you ever see a human putting down another human, assaulting another human, whatever it is, like, we all need to rise up and, and stop it. Yeah, Jake Paul, you can't understand how another human can be a dick to another human, but how about when you cheated on your girlfriend, ex-girlfriend Alyssa Violet for months in a row basically and she suffered through that shit which she, you know, she told about that in her video. Uh, it wasn't really a great move, it wasn't really, really good of you to another human, Jake Paul. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up but I don't think that, uh, you know, this means that Jake Paul's career is over because, uh, I mean, you can look at his social aid once again, he's already gaining subscribers and as well other YouTubers have gone through similar things before and their channels are doing completely fine. So I don't think that Jake Paul's career is over, it's, it's uh, too early to start a celebration, guys. He's gonna be here with us. For, for a long time, and uh, it's pretty sad. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much all I wanted today for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to slap the motherfucking like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.